Durham Youth Services, Shannon Jackson, Executive Director. Thank you so much. Um, seeing a room that is bursting at the seams of people who care about their community is why I love to live and work in Durham Region. So thank you for being who you are and doing what you do. I am Shannon Jackson. I work with Durham Youth Services, and we partner with youth who are 16 to 24 years old to achieve and maintain lasting solutions to their housing prices. And we do this in pursuit of a vision to end youth homelessness in Durham Region. Homelessness in Durham has hit a crisis point, and we've certainly seen that across the adult sector, but it has been outpaced by what we've experienced in the youth sector. From 2022 to 2023, we saw an 88% increase in demand for our services. That number has increased another 144% in 2024. At DYS, we are best known for operating Joanne's House, which is Durham's only youth-focused emergency shelter. And while we continue to operate that today, we know that sheltering youth alone does not end youth homelessness. And so today we have a variety of services that fall under youth homelessness prevention, rapid rehousing, and housing stability. The reality is that every day that a young person experiences housing precarity, they are at an increased risk of exploitation, victimization, assault, suicide, and unfortunately for our youngest female clients, they are frequently the target of human traffickers. And every day that that happens, the, the trauma that led up to their experience of homelessness is compounded and amplified. But when you are in a survival mode, and you're worried about where you're going to sleep tomorrow or if you're going to eat tomorrow, you have no ability to process everything that has led up to that scenario for you or has been compounded during the experience of that scenario. And unfortunately, the money runs out before the need does. We are well funded as an organization to help young people while they are actively homeless. But once we get to move them into housing, and guys, I'm very proud of this, including the times that our team helped young people remain or return home, because if home is safe, home is always best, we achieved housing 303 times mm. for young people mm. last year alone. Mm. When young people are actively homeless, the experience of their trauma continues to amplify, but there's no space to be able to process that. They move into housing, they get to relax, sometimes for the first time in, in months, weeks, or years, and they're hit with a ton of bricks with the reality of everything that they've experienced. That's when they need mental health supports the most, and that's when we're not funded to provide it anymore. And the $11,650 that you gave us in August built a budget for exactly that. We have four mental health psychotherapy firms that give us services for a fraction, like 25% of what they charge to the general public. And we are able to help the young people with the supports when they need it the most so that they can break the cycle of homelessness once and for all. And we do that and can do that this year because of you. Thank you so much. I wish you all the best with a wonderful decision to make tonight. You can't go wrong. You have three amazing charities. Thank you for what you've done for us, and thank you for what you do for your community.